Do you hear music when you speak? With Shakespeare, certainly. I think I also, rhythm, I think rhythm is key. I mean, I don't f feel as I speak to you now that it's particularly musical, but um, I think uh, with these great playwrights, they're aware of rhythm and music. They're because aware of... there's melody, particularly in Pinter. Yes. It's a very kind of, um, I don't want to say jazz, because that's, that's not it, but there's, in the pauses, in the air, mm. there's melody, there's mm. knowing when to kind of stop and then hit the chords again. Yes. Great writers, to me, write in melody and in rhythm. Well, as you, there's an amazing uh, example, a couple of examples, actually. The Shakespeare does the same thing. Um, so, obviously, Shakespeare writes in iambic pentameter, um, uh, which, is, which has a highly rhythmical... Um, uh, pace, de dum de dum de dum de dum de dum. Um, I do beseech your grace to pardon me, or whatever it is. Um, uh, to be or not to be, that is the question. Or that's a feminine ending. You know, if it was going to be a perfect pentameter, then the I O N of question wouldn't be there. But sometimes he writes in these pauses. So in Coriolanus, in that great final scene, um, there's a um, a gap in the line. Oh, mother, mother, what have you done? And I think the pause, Shakespeare writes a pause in because, because he understands the character is so shocked. And I think Pinter does the same thing with more regularity. Mm. Um, and anyone who's read a Pinter play will understand there are these pauses, but also silences. And he said he made a distinction towards the end of his life. Somebody asked him, you know, Harold, what is it about these pauses? Can you explain? And he said, a pause is when a character is uh, expecting the other person to speak or has decided not to say the thing they were going to say. A silence is a period of time after which both characters are irreversibly changed. So silence has even more weight. There's something inhabiting the silence, something that cannot be spoken about.